Hi, this is the first of my series of videos on Project Navigator Be Gone. It's just that this one will be a bit of a demo on how you can use um, multi levels in, all in one drawing instead of using Project Navigator. Every, everything's in the drawing. Here we'll go to Model Space. Now all the layers are turned on. Just confirm that with uh, LLL, the um, Express tools. Routine, all the layers are thawed as well. Now, is it just to show there's no XREF, so I'll go XREF, XREF, and no XREFs. Yep, layers wants to have a look. Alright, we'll look at them. Let's say for this, there's not many layers in the thing, and that's the key is to the ability to be able to control your layers easily. Look, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then some of these other ones are for my site plan, footing plan, etc. at ground floor level. Get rid of them. Okay, I'll go to ground floor level, one zero. Now all of these are shown up in this key here. One zero goes ground floor plan, one two second floor, one three, and so on. So at ground floor plan we've got a door and window schedule for the whole job. Um, we'll go to the first floor 101, second floor 12, third floor 13, fourth floor 14, fifth floor 15. Okay we'll, we'll have a look at that fifth floor. I'll go to a bit of a 3D. Now you can see on this that the dimensions and the text are actually at the fifth floor level which is displayed in elevation as we went up the building um, all of this stuff associated went up um, one of the other things that I'll come back to is these fins they're actually on the spanning layer and they actually at all the levels they show true cut is the section is actually a true size at that whatever level we're on one of the other keystrokes was uh, on that list was 1M, which turns the text and dimensions off. And uh, we, we've locked also level 4 is locked, so I'll just quickly go to 1 0, turn all my layers back on. Now I'll go 1M. And so all, I, all, all text and dimensions are off. And I'll just go get a visual display. Visual style, I use colour. I'm in high detail. And there's my model without any text. So spin it around. This drawing, you, you can actually access it. I'll give it to you and with the Lisp routine that you can play around with. In one of my later videos, I'll, I'll tell you how to to set up your drawing so that you can achieve all these things. Anyway, I go back to ground floor plan, one zero, now turn all the layers on, and we'll just have a cruise through the layouts. Now on these layouts, um, you can see your it only show the viewports only show the layers for that particular level. Um, well, pro probably the other thing to note is if I'm at level three, just have a look at these um, the cut planes as they get bigger as they go up. Because that, that, as I said, that, that thing was on spanning on the spanning layer of the fin. elevation, other elevation. Now these in that list of keystrokes I there are other there are other keys to access some other layout so um, site plan etc. But I'll do more of that in detail at a later time. And just just to notice site plan is in high detail. My stormwater plan is in low detail. 
and this is all pretty important as you go up I'm in medium detail for my landscaping plan got a footing plan I'm in reflected screen roof I'm in reflected and an energy efficiency plan I'm in presentation so that's all um, it's basically making maximum use out of just drawing a wall and then showing it so many different times showing you so many different ways okay I'll go back to the ground floor plan now I'll just quickly say we did say one two to go to the second floor if I go two one I go to site plan if I go to three one stormwater plan four four one landscaping plan etc anyway that um, that ends this part of the video session um, my second video is a a ground level house where we're basically all at ground level but I'll show you how to use all these different um, keystrokes for setting up a house in all in one drawing. I'll see you later.